Now, just a short time ago, President Obama offered his well wishes for President and Mrs. Bush. Those remarks coming at Obama's final news conference before leaving office. Steve Handelsman following that from the White House. Steve. He leaves office with twice the approval ratings of Donald Trump, 60% to 30. And Barack Obama said in his final Q&A with media, the new president may move his way. And he looks at the complexities of how to, in fact, provide health care for everybody, something he says he wants to do, uh, or wants to make sure that uh, he is encouraging job creation and wage growth in this country. That that may lead him to some of the same conclusions that that I arrived at uh, once uh, I got here. Chelsea Manning, why he reduced the sentence to seven years. You know, I feel very comfortable that uh, justice has been served and that a message has still been sent. On Russia, Putin and Ukraine, no let up on sanctions, a message to Trump. It is important for the United States to stand up for the basic principle that big countries don't go around and invade and bully smaller countries. More advice to the incoming president. This is a job of such magnitude that you can't do it by yourself. And advice to the press at a White House shaping up as more hostile. My hope is, is that you will continue uh, with the same tenacity that you showed us uh, to uh, do the hard work of getting to the bottom of stories. And Mr. Obama suggested getting more Americans to turn out to vote for our leaders. Asked about the growing boycott, more Democrats declining to attend Friday's swearing in of Donald Trump, President Obama said simply, he and Michelle will be there. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News at the White House.